Hey, it's Aaron Chen here, and in today's video, we're gonna talk all about how to build an email list for affiliate marketing. So if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I always come up with content that will teach you how to build a more profitable affiliate marketing business. So go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know every time we come up with a brand new video, all right? So let's get started in today's video. There are a few things that you need when it comes to building an email list for your affiliate marketing business. The first thing you need is you need an autoresponder, okay? You need a email managing software that will basically manage your database of emails the second thing that you need is you need a capture page all right you need a page where you can integrate your autoresponder which is your email managing software to a page where people can actually leave their name and their email address so you can start to collect those emails and follow up with people and then the last thing that you need is you need traffic you need eyeballs to actually send it to your capture page your landing page so that people will actually find your stuff and then enter the email address and then go through your sales process and then you can follow up with them automatically um, and then recommend great products to them so that people will get to know, like, and trust you, which is super important. And then that's how people actually buy um, through you, through your affiliate products that you're recommending them. So if you wanna find out exactly how I was able to get to over a million dollars in commissions, I would love to show you how to do that for free. I've got a six-figure workshop that you can check out if you want. All you need to do is go ahead and click the link below and register for that workshop and then just check your email. Make sure you check your spam folder because sometimes emails end up in spam these days and then enjoy the workshop workshop. So let's look at the top autoresponders that you can use and I'm just gonna jump on my screen right now and if I just Google top autoresponders, you're gonna see a whole different list of autoresponders that you can use, okay? And all of them are you know, fairly decent, obviously some are better than other ones, but for example, you've got HubSpot, GetResponse, Moosen, Aweber, MailChimp, ConvertKit, Autopilot, you get the idea, right? So you can use any autoresponder that you want and you can integrate it with pretty much any page builder or funnel builder tool, but in today's demo, I'm actually gonna show you GetResponse response with click funnels because these are two of some of the most popular softwares out there right so get response kind of looks like this okay um, you can check out the pricing if you want it's relatively inexpensive to be honest remember you do need to spend a little bit of money if you want to you know start building a business um, the cool thing is is you know you can start for free and that's a free account um, one landing page one website website builder so that's pretty cool once you get to about a thousand contacts is fifteen dollars and fifty eight cents per month again not expensive for a thousand contacts. Remember, you're, you're trying to build a business here, right? So you need the right foundation, okay? So I'm assuming that you're gonna go ahead and sign up for free. And once you've actually signed up with uh, GetResponse, you would come into the back end of the program and it would look something like this, right? Now, the thing that you need to do is you need to create a list, okay? A list is basically where you are going to house all of a specific group of um, contacts that you want to get. So for example, if you're in the make money from home niche or you're in the health and fitness niche or gardening niche or whatever, your list that you create might be gardening list or it might be make money from home list or it might be weight loss list, okay? So that's the list that people are gonna go into. So all you would do to do that is just create a list over here and then you would name the list. I'm gonna call it demo, okay? Demo list because we're doing a demo right now and you would just create it. And it's pretty much as simple as that, to be honest, okay? And once I've created the list, I'm just gonna go and look for it, because I've got a lot of lists right now, right? So I'm just gonna look for a demo list. Where is it? It's right at the top, actually, okay? And then I would click into the list, <clears throat> and what you can do is you can actually start to create emails that will automatically go out to people. So I would just come in here, and I would click on, it's called an autoresponder, all right? Because you want to automate some emails that are gonna go out to people, right? Um, and I'm just gonna show you quickly how to do this, right? So I'm just gonna click here on create autoresponder. Um, I'm gonna use the older version because I prefer that. Uh, and I'm gonna give uh, the autoresponder a name, okay? So this would be the first email that people see. So let me you know, call it something like welcome, okay? And then the day that you would put would be day zero because it would be today that they're gonna get the email as soon as they opt in, okay? The list that I want them to be on is my demo list, so make sure you go ahead and choose your the right name of the list, and you wanna send it immediately, all right? So the next email that you send, so email number two, three, four, five, six, for example, would be sent um, not immediately, but you know it would be sent on a different day. So if this was, for example, one, it, you could choose same time signed up or exactly at a specific time, for example. So if you want emails to go out at, for example, um, 
you know, 1 p.m. is a good time uh, in the afternoon when just after people have lunch. Uh, early in the morning is a good time as well, like 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. because that's when people uh, are just waking up and getting their emails, they're getting to work. So this is a good time to send it to them as well, all right? Um, and then you can, you know, enable it for all the, the, the days, Monday all the way to Sunday. But for the first email, I'm gonna send it out immediately because they actually opted in immediately. So that's when they're gonna get the email, okay? Now what I would do is I could either choose a message or I will create a message, create a brand new email from scratch, all right? And then you would have to put in a subject line. So let's think of a catchy subject line that someone might want to open up, you know? And again, it depends on your industry, um, but Probably you want to give them something of value, so you want to deliver something, so it could be something like, you know, gift number one, and then the name of the gift, or it could be, um, here is your free gift, for example, here is your free training, you know, something like that. It could even be as simple as, you know, hello there, right? Um, and little things like that create curiosity, and that's how people actually open up the emails. I would name the message the same thing, all right? Make sure you choose the email that it's coming from and then click next. And then you would go ahead and create your the email itself, right? Now I've got a, a few different templates here, so I'm just gonna use one of my templates, which is a very basic setup. And that's, the, the I think the emails that work the best, you don't want it to be too fancy, right? So I'm gonna kinda delete all this right here, and I'm just gonna start writing something, okay? Now, I'm not gonna write the full email now just for you know time purposes, but I'm just gonna you know write something here like, hey Aaron, uh, hey it's Aaron, um, thanks for opting into my list. Here is here is the free gift that you um, that you that you wanted. Download it here. You're awesome, Aaron. Okay, and then I would just kind of save this. Next step, uh, I would obviously hyperlink this so that someone can actually click on it. That's very very important. All right, and then I would I would save and publish into that specific list, okay? So if I was to come into my list right here and I would just choose the demo list itself and apply, you would see that it would just have that one autoresponder, okay? And this would go out immediately after somebody opts in to my landing page, which I'm gonna show you how to set up in a second, right? Now the important thing is you need to fill this up, okay? So one email is not enough, you need to have, um, I would say as many as possible. You know, if you can get to like 30, 60 days, you don't have to email every single day, maybe the first week you email every single day, and then after that you email them every other day, right? You wanna be in front of your audience, but you don't want to badger them because otherwise they're just gonna opt out of your email list. And make sure all of your emails are giving value. That's very, very important, okay? So if you're just selling them all the time, it's not gonna be effective. You have to be able to give them value in the emails and even send them to a valuable piece of content which will then send them back to your affiliate link that you're selling. That's actually the best way to sell affiliate products, okay? So obviously I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm not gonna fill this up with 30 emails, but I just wanted to show you how simple it is to actually set up an email list. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to connect this uh, to our page builder. So the page builder I like to use is ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is very, very popular. You can use any funnel builder you want. There's so many different ones out there. You just go to Google and you type out a page builders, funnel builders, and you have a whole list. But I'm gonna demo it on ClickFunnels today. And when I log into ClickFunnels, it's gonna kinda look like this. And I'm gonna show you how easy this is to use, all right? So if I was to create a brand new page inside of ClickFunnels, I'm gonna call it you know, the traffic demo page because we're doing a demo right now. So if I come in here, basically it's going to be a, a blank page. All right, and the, the cool thing that I like about ClickFunnels is that um, it's really, really simple to use. I just kind of add a new row right here, and I'm gonna choose a single column, all right, because what we wanna build is we wanna basically build a very simple landing page with a great title that someone can leave their details inside, right? So if I click Element and I click on Headline, we're gonna create a headline here, okay? So let's just imagine that we are in the weight loss space, okay? We're, we're selling weight loss affiliate programs. So the title must be focused on weight loss. That's really, really important. So we might type out something like how to, how to lose 15 pounds of fat off your waist um, in 45 days without having to spend three hours a day on the treadmill. Okay, and the reason why I'm, I'm using this particular uh, subject line is because a lot of people think that in order for you to lose weight, 
you need to run on the treadmill for hours and hours every single day. And if you know anything about weight loss, that's actually a fallacy. Right? It's not about running, it's about building muscle, it's about dieting, um, and it's about doing a little bit of cardio like HIT, for example, which is very, very effective, okay? So this would be a great headline. I'm gonna come in here, and you'll just see it's very easy. I'm just gonna increase the font size to make it look big, and then, you know, I could even make this a bit narrower, right here, the width, so that it looks, it looks a little bit nicer, okay? So three lines is always very nice, right? So now we've got the headline, how to lose 15 pounds of fat off your waist, so just, just always check your grammar, right, and spelling, um, off your waist in 45 days without, let me just bold, or maybe just underline this, okay, having to spend three hours a day on the treadmill. Did I spell treadmill wrongly? Okay, treadmill, that right there, okay. Now, that's the title. What we need now is we need a opt-in form and a button. Very, very simple, right? So I'm just going to um, come down here and I'm gonna add a new element, right? This is how easy this is to use. And I'm gonna look for button, or actually input, okay? So I've got an input right there, very simple. And then I'm gonna just add a button. All right, now the button, let's let's uh, actually give it a better name like um, access, access the um, weight loss formula now. Okay, something interesting like that. I'm gonna increase the size and maybe just give a little bit of space on top so it looks a little bit nicer, right? And then this one right here, we can uh, actually make it a little bit smaller as well so it so it fits this a little bit better here what well, here's what we'll do okay and then this one I will come back and I'll make it uh, the size just like that so it's about the same size and then I'll just need to readjust this a little bit and that's okay too that still looks very very nice okay and then if you want you can play around with the background okay you can you can change the colors of the background for example we can make it slightly gray you know, if we want, maybe that's a bit too dark. Maybe we make it slightly gray like that. And that still looks very, very nice. Okay, obviously we want to get rid of the bottom here, but we don't have to do that right now. Um, and then you would basically set the input type here as email address, okay? And then the, the action button, we want to set it to um, submit order form because we want people to actually submit their order form. And then up here, we're gonna to come to integrate and we're gonna integrate my get response account, okay? So we're gonna come here, integrate get response. The action would be add to campaign. And by the way, guys, you can, um, you know, slow this down and, and pause this video if you need to. And then I'm gonna choose that demo list that we want it to get into, all right? And it's as simple as that. Now, once we've integrated that, we wanna come down here, go to general, and we wanna choose the page that we wanna send people to after they opt into this page. Now that page would probably be what we call a bridge page. So my this is my bridge page, okay? And that's all set up there. I'm gonna click on save. And the bridge page is gonna add a little bit more value on your particular topic and then you lead people to the sales page of um, whatever you're trying to sell, all right? And it's as simple as that. So now once we're done with this, if we wanna test it, we just go to preview and you can see that we've created a very simple capture page. All right, now obviously we can make this a little bit nicer, but just for the purposes of time, I don't wanna hang out for you, you know, for an hour. Um, it's as simple as that, right? So this is how you basically start to build an email list, okay? So what we've done is we've taken an autoresponder, email manager, get response. We've integrated it with ClickFunnels. And when somebody clicks on here and enters their email address, so we're just gonna put whatever, okay? Gmail.com and they press enter, and they're gonna to go to the next page, it's gonna to go to the page that we've scheduled it to be sent to, and that should be what's called a bridge page where you add a little bit more value, all right? Now, the name of the game is to promote this page in as many places as you can, right? Because building an email list is about getting this particular page in front of as many people as possible that are interested in that particular topic so that they then want to actually leave your their email address inside and find out more information. And that's how you build an email list and they're gonna be built up slowly uh, inside of your autoresponder here and it's gonna say you know one today and then five tomorrow and then 20 and you're gonna build it up slowly and then they're gonna get all the automated autoresponders that will build a relationship with them over time all right and that's really how you build a list with affiliate marketing right now where are some of the places that you can promote this particular 
capture page or landing page, right? Well, there's many, many different places you can go to, right? So you can try influencer networks. So just come to Google, type out influencer networks, right? And then you can just have a look at the different articles here. This one right here will show you the names of all sorts of different influencer platforms that you can leverage. So you don't have to build out a big TikTok or Facebook or YouTube or Instagram channel. You can just come here, pay a little bit of money and leverage off these networks like Grin, for example, or paid, hashtag paid, okay? Or creator.co, I mean, there's so many here. Upfluence is another one, right? So you're basically leveraging off other creators' platforms and you're leveraging their followers and all you have to do is match up their niche with your niche and that's how you do a really, really good job, okay? Another place that you can check out if you want is to just go to Bing Ads. So Microsoft owns Bing. It's one of the largest search engines next to Google search and you can just start advertising here and Bing is really, really cheap because a lot of people actually don't know about Bing but it has hundreds of millions of users that are actually doing lots of searches. So you can create search ads on Bing. Just go to ads.microsoft.com and this is another great place where you can start to actually build up your email list for affiliate marketing. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple when it comes to building out an email list. It's all about understanding how to connect your autoresponder with your capture page and then how to actually get that capture page in front of as many of the right targeted people as possible. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Let me know in the comment section what you learned, what are your, some of your aha moments. And if you liked this video today, would appreciate some thumbs ups. And if you would like to learn exactly how I built a multiple six figure affiliate marketing business, I would love to show you how to do that. I've got a free workshop that you can check out. Just click the link directly in the description box or the comment section, and I hope to see you there. So I hope you enjoyed the video today and you got lots of value from it. You learned a lot from it. Um, if you like content like this, remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so you know every time we come up with a brand new video. And if you want, you can check out one of the videos I recorded recently. Super fun. You're going to get a lot of value from it as well. And I hope to see you there. Take care.